today. Settle down, ready for the start. And they're off. Plum Pretty breaks well. It's Tricky's right alongside her. Down toward the inside, Royal Delta. So they move under the line for the first time. Plum Pretty down on the inside, Royal Delta on the outside. It's Tricky. At the back of the pack early on will be Pinch Pie, St. John's River, and Inglorious at the back of the pack. And it's a tight pack that arrives at the clubhouse turn. Plum Pretty in front. It's Tricky gone a bit wide there. So it is. Plum, Plum Pretty on top. Royal Delta second on the inside of it's Tricky. He was very keen to go on here. First quarter was 24 and two fifth seconds. Farther back in the field, Pinch Pie fourth down toward the inside. Stretch running St. John's River has one horse beaten, and that is Inglorious. So it sets up this way down the back stretch run with the Oaks winner leading the way. Plum Pretty on top. Coaching Club winner. It's Tricky running along in second. Royal Delta down inside third. Pinch Pie fourth. Late running, St. John's River, five lengths from that lead. And the Queen's Plate winner is last here, about seven or eight from the front. And Glorious is the trailer, less than five furlongs to go. The half was up in a very sensible 49 and one-fifth seconds. Plum pretty to catch with the half mile to go. It's tricky now, giving her cue. And they round the far turn here. Plum pretty by length. It's tricky, still called on for run. Just a length behind with three furlongs to go and a would-be championship on the line. And then it's Royal Delta back running in third. Pinch pie. And then St. John's River and a long way back to Inglorious. Inglorious has dropped better than 12 lengths from the lead. And the field turns for home in the Alabama. On the outside, it's tricky. And Plum Pretty digs down. They're going at each other with Royal Delta coming to them. Less than a furlong to go. And Royal Delta takes the lead and pulls away. And Royal Delta goes on to win the Alabama convincingly, beating its tricky by five and a half lengths. Long shot, pinch pie, finish third. Then Plum Pretty, St. John Street, Inglorious, never fired today. They're off. Bellamy Star from the rail comes out first. Wyoming comes away running second early on here. Cathman Blue will be forwardly placed. And the big favorite there, Winter Memories, is in between horses on hold early on. She's now fourth. Track and jam to her inside. And Emma Holiday to her outside. And behind her, Hungry Island. So the field moves around the clubhouse turn. And it is Bellamy Star leading in a leisurely pace here. Out there by almost two lengths. Wyomia down on the inside of Kath Ban Blue runs along in third. Then the trio of Track and Jam, Dynamic Holiday, Winter Memories, in behind horses, in and among horses as well. And the trailer is Hungry Island. As Bellamy Star, through the yielding going, gets a quarter and 26 seconds flat. Kath Ban Blue still continues to run along while second there down toward the inside. It's Wyomia. And then a dynamic holiday followed by track and jam. Winter Memories is still in between horses now. And now we'll try to move through down toward the inside. Winter Memories is still about five and a half lengths from the lead with less than a half mile remaining. The pace has been slow. It's with 51 and four fifth seconds opening half mile around the far turn. Winter Memory still has a lot to do here. Still five lengths behind. Less than three furlongs to go. Bellamy Star trying to do it all the way on the lead. Cathman Blue is drawing right alongside. Now Winter Memories is starting to pick it up. She slices her way through in between horses and takes to the outside. Dynamic Holiday right at her shoulder, keeping her bottled up in behind horses. Winter Memories is desperate to look for a way through. There's less than a furlong to go. Cathman Blue, Winter Memories now finds Roam down toward the inside. On the far outside, Hungry Island are coming down to to finish and Hungry Island. Hungry Island comes up to get the lead. It is Hungry Island on the wire by two and a half lengths. Cathman Blue was second.
Dynamic Holiday was third. Winter Memories was fourth this afternoon. Field for the Grade 1 Delmar Oaks sent on their way. They all look as though they came out very smartly. Summer Soiree, red cap at the rail, sets off for the lead. Nuriad is showing good speed as well. Nuriad and on the outside, here's Dynamo coming up to take over. So those three can ensure a quick early pace in the Oaks. They have been followed by Up in Time. Down at the rail, Star Billing is fifth. Then we come back to Celestial Kitten, followed by Singapore Lily. Entrustment is down at the rail. Cambina's taken back second last. A good ten lengths off them. And last a long way is Busy Caroline. Strung out over a lot of ground. They head to the three-quarter pole. And Dynamo's ensured a good pace. But now slows them down. Dynamo by a length. In the second spot is Summer's Soiree. Then it's two and a half lengths back to Nuri at a comfortable third. Been followed by Up in Time and Star Billing. In behind them comes Celestial Kitten. Singapore Lily on the far side now seven lengths off the leaders. Been followed by Entrustment at the back of the leading group. Cambina in the white colours has got to be a good 11 off those leaders now. And last of all, Busy Caroline. Half mile to go in the Oaks and now Summer Soiree takes an early lead and kicks on for home. Got her ears pricked. She's gliding into the turn. And Summer Soiree is telling them you're going to have to come and catch me to win the Oaks. It's Summer Soiree opening up to lead by four lengths. In second is Dynamo. In behind that, Nereid is in the third spot. Then up in time. Star billing behind that. The rest of them far, far back. Heads a turn for home and Summer Soiree gets a tap on the shoulder and she zips away for home. Summer Soiree is clear by four lengths. Star billing along the inside. Nereid chasing gamely on the outside. But it's Summer Soiree. She's getting tired late. Summer Soiree just going to hang on. Summer Soiree opened that big lead and they couldn't get her. Summer Soiree's won the Oaks. Close for second. Star billing and Nereid. They're off in the Gislin, and a good start. Chirac is going out to the early lead. And right alongside is Ponzi Scheme. Southern Ridge is close up, but hard held early in third. Then comes Where's Sterling in fourth. Dueling Alex next on the far outside. Cactus Charlie, Pleasant Prince, and Almodoro at the back. As they race toward the first turn, it is Ponzi Scheme. Off the rail, but in front. Chirac on the inside, Southern Ridge, where's Sterling right there running in fourth? That first quarter was 23 and three. Cactus Charlie is fifth outside of horses. Almodoro is in sixth, only three and a half lengths off the lead. Dueling Alex is second last, and Pleasant Prince and Elvis Trujillo trail the field, and they're seven behind as they race on to the back stretch. And it is Ponzi Scheme and Jose Valdivia Jr. on top after a 47 and three half mile. Southern Ridge prompting the pace on the outside second. Chirac is third at the rail. Cactus Charlie and Where's Sterling are right alongside of Chirac. Al Maduro at the half mile pole is five and a half lengths off the lead. Pleasant Prince is outside of him. Dueling Alex is ridden along in the back of the field. Ponzi Scheme leads the way on the far turn. Southern Ridge draws up alongside second. Where's Sterling and Cactus Charlie are next. Al Maduro. Pleasant Prince with work to do, then Chirac and Dueling Alex. Three quarters in 111 and 2. And at the top of the stretch, it is Southern Ridge in front. 
Southern Ridge the leader, but here comes where Sterling moving up alongside with a furlong to run. Southern Ridge at the rail. Where's Sterling on the outside? Head and head in the Island. Where Sterling takes the lead. Southern Ridge tries to fight on, but it's where Sterling and Paco Lopez on top in the Island. Southern Ridge was second. Ponzi scheme was third, and then Cactus Charlie.